Hello and welcome to A Story A Day Keeps Corona Away, number four. This is my attempt to get people staying inside and telling stories from their lives instead of going outside and catching viruses, and more importantly, spreading those viruses. Um, so today's story is about the most rewarding day's work I ever did so far, um, which was at Buckingham Palace. And I think it's particularly apt that I tell this one at the moment, because it's a time when old Prince Harry's getting quite a lot of jip in the news, isn't he? And this story, I think, is really just a story about him and him being a pretty good guy. So, he organised a party at Buckingham Palace for any child who'd lost a parent or a sibling during the recent wars. And I think all in all, there were about 800 kids there in the end. And his plan is what he, he, he'd met most of them before, at uh, various functions and events where everyone's dressed up to the nines and it's all very formal and official. So he said, I want everyone to turn up in whatever they want, to come dressed as a superhero or anything at all, and we're just going to have a good time in the gardens. So they opened up the whole back gardens of Buckingham Palace, and people like me, I was working for a ch children's party company called Sharky and George, we were invited in to provide the entertainment. So I was part of the welcome party, so as the doors opened and all the kids ran in with their grandparents and parents and whoever it was, I had to sort of be the first big person they met and big energy and I was doing plate spinning and playing lots of games that we've done before at kids' parties. Um, and it was mad. And William and Kate were there and Harry was there um, and it was the first time to open up the gardens to like a, a party for a while apparently. Um, Nina Conti performed and Jess Glynn performed and we had paratroopers um, skydive in and it was yeah, the sort of happiest event I've ever been to, which was married with the idea that this was really an incredibly sad event in that everyone, every kid there at some point got a phone call or had a conversation with their parents about, you know, losing a sibling or losing a mum or a dad. So it was, it was bittersweet, really. Um, some of the highlights included, we had a mass, we had a mass game of, um, what's it called? when you've got to creep up on someone who's facing the other way and they turn around and you've got to freeze. Um, what's that game even called? What's Time Mr Wolf? Is it still? I can't remember. I haven't done these parties in a while. Um, so the mass game of that, we had 1,200 people and then maybe like 50 of us who were doing the spinning around and trying to catch people out. We had an enormous water balloon fight. So we've got one of those rocket launcher water balloons. So you get two people holding um, one on each side and sort of catapult. And then we had, um, what's it? Harry, Amy, Kate? No, it was, it was Harry lying down on the floor, pulling this power, pulling the, um, what's it called? Balloon shooter. Uh, and aim, so aim at William, aim at William. So we were trying to hit William in a crowd of 1,200. So that was very entertaining. Um, the performances were amazing. It was just a crazy thing. And actually, one of the maddest things about it is that we got there hours before everyone else to help with the setup. So at one point, there, I was one of 15 or 20 people in the Buckingham Palace Gardens as Jess Glynn did her warm-up, um, which was so surreal, so, so surreal. Uh, and the weird thing about that week, actually, is that I also used to do a job where I used to go to a school called Thomas's Bath Battersea on the day that the, the new kids, it was like the first day of school for the new kids, all a bit nervous, so they get kids' party entertainers in to sort of break the ice and get everyone playing together. And weirdly, that same week was the week where William and Kate's kids joined the school. So, George, I think it was, yeah, he joined the school. So I did this whole three-hour party in the classroom, getting all the kids to meet each other. Um, and William and Kate were there, I got to talk to them. Didn't, obviously, they didn't remember me, remember me from the party, but I said I was one of the guys that did that. And um, I remember at the end of that party, I said to the, the girl that I did it with, I was like, oh, what a shame, maybe George didn't come in, he must have been too shy, we just hung out with his parents outside. She said, are you mad? George was the kid sitting next to you for the whole party. And I just didn't clock him. I didn't recognise him off the, uh, off the television adverts and the photos. So that is my story about the best day's work I've ever done. And weirdly, the, the week I got to see a lot of the royal family. Um, who are good guys, turns out. So stop hating on them and stay inside and tell my stories. All right then, see you. Bye.